So here's the side yard. This is the side yard and well, this is September 1st. Let's just look at the blooms. You can see the sun too, it's about 11 o'clock, 10.30. Um, Texas sage is coming out. You know, it could use more sun. Under this tree, this is a vitex, it doesn't get a ton of sun. But the vitex, as you can see, they lose their leaves so quickly. I mean, there's leaves all over the ground. It's about to go dormant for the year here in another 30 days. So this is about to be full sun right here. It's about to be a bunch of sticks. And you can see the salvia gregei. This whole area right here, this whole area right here is going to be a salvia garden. So I'm going to have salvia gregeis here in the back. And then different color salvias. Pink, reds, all this kind of stuff all up in here. <clears throat> Over here, the Australian bottle brush. This is a spring bloomer only. And uh, next year, whenever it starts blooming, I'm going to get a third one and put right here. So it'll be kind of like a triangle. Um, I did have a third one, but it died. And uh, let's see, what do we got here? This is going to be my raised bed. This is part of my watering system, so pay no attention to that. But uh, this is uh, my raised bed. It's not really raised right now because all the compost is decomposed, but I'll put some more on there before season starts, which is going to be like in next week. This is where my broccoli is going to go. And you can see all of these lantanas were taken from different parts of the yard. None of them were together. And I put them together in a big garden. So we've got one native right here. And then the rest of these I think are some sort of confetti lantana. I think they all came from the same plant. Um, you can see they're still pretty hurting. Like this one's really sticky and that one's kind of woody. and They're not perfect yet. But they, they'll grow in. They're growing in. And uh, just in time for the monarch migration too. This thing here, I don't even know what it is. It's an ancient plant that people have told me. It has a response if you touch it. So look at the leaves. They're open. Now I'm going to touch them. And the leaves will close. Okay. Notice all those leaves are open and now they're closed. Just from the touch. Open. Closed. Now they're going to close. So they touched them. You can see that. So they have a response here. Um, so I don't know what they are. But I'm going to leave them here. Here's what the blooms look like. Nice pink blooms. Kind of furry like cotton. And so I think I'm just going to mulch in this whole area. These things grow with no water. There's no water here. It's pretty crazy. So I'm going to let them grow all... They go pretty much from there. Right where? From right here. All up here. And so I'm going to mulch this and just let them grow. Yeah, so that's a side yard in full bloom. And one more aspect is another uh, winter only garden because it doesn't get enough sun in the summer. Is this. This is my newest bed. Uh, I haven't raised it up yet just because I've uh, I double dug the soil and you can see it's all lumpy. I double dug it and I worked in the soil because uh, it had never been turned. And um, yeah, so. I'm going to raise this up, and this is where I'm going to grow uh, kale or onions. You can see it's 1030. You can see the sun's coming out now. And this would be typically be a hindrance, but again, this is going to be a big stick here in about another month. Like a huge stick. And so there's, you know, there's going to be tons of light getting through here. Um, so this is a winter-only garden. Here's my chili pekins. Um, this is a volunteer. It's been here with me for two years, and I water it. I have tried to dig it up, but there's no dirt down there. I, there's seriously no dirt. I don't even understand how it's living. Um, the dirt is about an inch deep. So I'm just gonna let it stay there. This is my little butterfly feeder. This is recycled AC water. Um, I need to get a bigger saucer to feed it. But regardless, this is where my recycled AC water goes to feed uh, so that my wildlife has something to drink on. <coughs> Here's how I do that. Here's my AC spigots, and they drip into that funnel. That funnel then takes it on the black tubing. Black tubing goes out there. It's a little long. I had to make it a little long. Uh, this is just an experiment right now, so it's not really strapped down or anything. And there's the um, drinking utensil. So I think I'm gonna get a bigger saucer and move it out to the concrete, to the sidewalk a little bit more. Uh, that's what I got in the side yard.